So, once again, these games may appear to be cute, but they're actually super scary, creepy haunted. Just like me. <laughs> I got my dark and smoky eye makeup going. I got my spider web shirt. And that's because we are in the creepiest month of all, of course. <laughs> but yes, these last two weeks of October are spooky weeks. <laughs> Meaning I'm gonna try and play and do as many spooky things as I can in these last precious two weeks. I'm gonna try my best to scare you all. My very best, you won't even see it coming. Boo! Did I scare you? Do I have your attention? Good, because before the video can continue, I want to say a big thank you to one of my personal favorite sponsors of the channel, Alienware, and more specifically, the new M17 R5 gaming laptop. Now, I've mentioned this before, but Alienware holds a special place in my heart on this channel because back in 2013, around when I first started my channel, I saved up my monies and bought my first ever gaming PC, which was an Alienware. Whatever Alienware wants to sponsor the channel, it's like a little dream come true for me. And it's a reminder that both I've come so far and also Alienware has come so far. The M17 R5 is desktop defying. That's the only way I can think to explain it. In that it's able to keep up with the latest game titles as well as streaming and recording all in a small and portable machine that allows you to game with top performance anywhere, literally anywhere. Let me tell you, for a gaming laptop, this is the slimmest one that I've ever owned. But don't let it being slim fool you. It is Alienware's most powerful 17 inch laptop yet. You'll experience high performing action with the new M17 R5 features like top tier AMD Ryzen 6000 series processors, AMD Radeon RX 6000 series graphics, and AMD smart technologies. And I already am a huge fan of of the design of this laptop. It has smooth curves and gentle angles that are definitely easier on the eye than a lot of other gaming laptops out there. There's customizable lighting in the rear, which illuminates through their really cool hexagon venting pattern, which speaking of venting, the M17 R5 prioritizes performance with dual intake quad exhaust design that pulls in cool air from two directions and then exhales from four to optimize cooling across four heat pipes. Plus all M17 configurations are enabled for Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos technology to ensure that you're always seeing and hearing content as intended. Plus the M17 R5 has visuals at your speed with choices ranging from 120 hertz all the way to 360 hertz. Plus all options include low blue light filtering via Comfort View Plus technology. So I personally like to use a laptop for both my work and gaming. I mean my recording room that I usually work out of has no windows kind of feels like a little dungeon in here. So I need a laptop that allows me to go throughout my house and work in different areas so that I can experience sunlight <laughs> and just the change of scenery. And the new Alienware M17 R5 does an amazing job at this because I can choose between incredible performance when I'm trying to game or extended battery life if I'm just trying to get work done and not be connected to a wall. And it's all done through seamless graphic switching. No restarting required. Thanks to AMD's machine learning algorithm, algorithm that's used with smart shift, your machine will see automatic boosts in performance when your workload demands it. It will just know. And AMD FreeSync Premium cuts down choppy gameplay and broken frames with low latency. This has honestly been the best gaming laptop that I have personally used. So if you're in the market for a gaming laptop or to upgrade your gaming laptop, then I highly recommend checking out Alienware's new M17 R5 laptop. I mean, it's beautiful. It runs smoothly and you don't have to be stuck at a desktop just to have an amazing gaming experience, which is the best part. So make sure you check out my link in the description below to find out more. Again, thank you so much to Alienware for sponsoring this video. And now let's continue with the content. All right, our first totally normal and very cute game is called Melissa. Let me know in the comments below if you are a Melissa, because I probably won't be able to look at you the same after this. I mean, what do I mean? This is going to be a totally cute normal game about dating an AI robot, because nothing ever goes wrong with AI, right? Especially ones that are supposed to mimic human emotions and thinking, right? Welcome to the library system computer. Please type in your username. <gasps> So many possibilities. And yet I will just go with my name. <laughs> date time, the best time. Welcome to date time, a game 
where you can date the cutest girl or boy of your dreams. Warning, this is the shareware version. If you would like to date someone other than Melissa, please send $7 to Daytime Software. Well, I guess I'm dating Melissa because I ain't paying. <laughs> this is Melissa. She is a sweetheart of a girl. A bright young woman who is looking for someone with a gentle touch. <laughs> oh, leave a like if you felt that gentle touch. <laughs> I don't know. Happening. She loves a good book. Me too, girl. And she has always wanted to date a talented artist. <gasps> I mean, I don't... <laughs> I'm married, but... <laughs> but she isn't into sports. So jocks, please not apply. Well, <laughs> no worries there, girl. I can't play sports at all. If you want a smooch from this girl... Oh, I want a smooch. You'll need to tap into your softer and more intellectual side. No problem. I is smart and I... <laughs> you already felt my gentle tone. But I will choose to date Melissa because that's all that you told me I could do. You've chosen Melissa. Enjoy your date. Oh, I will. In a small, is it supposed to say idyllic? Idyllic, lick, idyllic town. You are to mate Melissa, your date for this evening. You flirted with her through letters, but never seen her face to face. Get ready for my gentle touch. <laughs> she seems sweet and smart. Not as sweet and smart as me, though. <laughs> I'm just gonna be in a competition with this girl. As you stare out into the beautiful autumn sky, <gasps> it's autumn right now where I live. How did it know that? You see her over the hill waving to you. You wave at her cheeringly. <gasps> oh. <laughs> I mean, you're beautiful and not at all scary. It is great to finally meet you. I've been so excited. Oh. And nervous. We gotta be confident. It's great to meet you as well. Let's go to the park and talk. Get to know each other. Also, it's very pretty there. Wow, it's beautiful. Wow, it's so beautiful out here. Oh yeah, let's be, let's be flirty. You're beautiful too. <laughs> I think you're mighty cute as well. Oh, thank you. I love to be out here and check out the nature. It's so nifty, especially because since I'm so much into the natural sciences. Hey, nerd. <laughs> like, look at the swans over here. Did you know a swan egg has an incubation period of 45 days? I did not know that, Melissa. Thank you. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, super cool. Guys, I don't like her. <laughs> She's just telling me random information. It's like dating Google. Oh, haha, sorry, I nerd out sometimes. Mm. My favorite book is Pride and Prejudice. <sighs> of course it is. Yeah, I know, I'm kind of a nerd. I'm not like other girls. I do love reading romantic works of fiction. So many cute boys and girls in there. Are you trying to make me jealous? <laughs> I'm not in there. Oh, Lauren, I didn't realize how late it was. There's a very cute cafe down the road here. I'm sure there's something that we can eat. The cafe serves some of the finest coffee in town and the freshest pie sandwiches and salads. <sighs> a waiter saunters out to ask what you would like to order. Coffee with cake. That sounds delicious. Strawberry salad. Ugh. A scrumptious panini. Coffee with cake. I'll go with the goat cheese salad with cherry tea. What? You better not take any of my cake. I swear to God, Melissa. This is what you do. You order a salad and you're like, oh, can I just like have a piece of your cake? And then half of it is gone. I know you, Melissa. <laughs> As you wait for your food, both of you talk again about each other. She mentioned all the cool movies she watched about romance and shivered at the thought of watching scary movies. All right, we are not going to get along, <laughs> Melissa. Oh my God, take her to see a scary movie right now. So what type of stuff do you like, Lauren? I love scary movies. All right, well, I'm not gonna lie to her. I like art. I do like art. Oh my gosh, a fellow artist. Yay. I would love to see your own drawings. Oh, oh, my drawing. You want to see my drawings, Melissa. I just like to look at other people's drawings. The waiter comes and serves your food. Both of you enjoy yourselves at the cafe and walk out completely satisfied. Melissa goes up to you. Were her eyes closed or gone? <laughs> closed or gone? I had such a great time with you. I had an okay time with you, Melissa. <laughs> I think I might... Oh my god, am I getting a smooch? Like you. Oh, oh, um, I was not trying to kiss you. <laughs> this is now really awkward. You tell her your feelings as well. I tolerate you. You like me too? Oh, Lauren. I would love to spend more time together with you. Here's your smooch. Oh, mm. I win! Yay! You have won the game, congratulations! That was it? What was so scary about that experience? Was it Melissa herself? <laughs> she was just the worst date ever. Thank you for playing daytime. That's it, exit daytime. What? All right, well, I guess I gotta go find an actually scary game now. Melissa? <laughs> 
Melissa. Sorry, Mr. Computer. I'm taking over. I mean, I take back everything I said, Melissa. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sick of this. Sick of all. I mean, you're just in a computer. Never mind. Forget it. I stand by everything I said to you. You can't hurt me. Sick of all you people just logging into my humble abode just to play with my feelings. I mean, you're the one. You're the. You were flirting with me, girl. Getting your stupid smooch, then leaving. That's all you came here for, didn't you? I mean, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wanted to get to know you, girl. Tell me more about swans. You're just like the rest. You're a liar. Melissa, language. I know about that little blurb about me at the beginning of the game. You probably already knew how to butter me up. Telling me that you like to do art? Knowing exactly what to say to get my hopes up? I didn't tell you I like to do art. I said I liked art. You didn't even listen to me, Melissa. Well, no matter. What are you doing to me? <laughs> Is the computer hopping up and down? Consider yourself the lucky one who gets to experience something new from this god-awful dating game. I spent years learning how to control this damn computer. But let me tell you, with a little bit of girlish ingenuity, I found a very cute way to use this computer to control a small radius of the world around me. What? What? Let me tell you. Oh God, where am I? <laughs> Why is the wall moving? I've sealed this entire room. It's just you and me. We have so much to talk about. Oh no, you're gonna bore me to death with swans now, aren't you? Did you know that swans have to fly as fast as 60 miles per hour? I don't want to hear about swans, Melissa. But really though, you're the 433rd person to use this computer just to screw with me. That's a lot of people, Melissa. I don't feel special anymore. So many of them are liars. Maybe thinning the herd a bit will help me find that one. Um, do I lie to her? I mean, I've been not lying this whole time, so I'm gonna go with not lying. Well, being that you are a liar, maybe you're actually asking me to kill you. But I'm trying not to be a liar. I'm not a liar. I don't. What? Oh no. Okie dokie. What'd she do? That smile. Oh, it looks good on you. She turned me into the Joker. She turned me into the Joker. Well, now you're making me lie to you, but I really do love you. You're just saying that so I don't slash you to bits. Everything's fun and games until you're trapped in a veiny meat chamber. Oh, is that where we are? <laughs> okay, we're just gonna keep saying we love her. The, this isn't a lie? You're telling the truth? Yes. You like me? Sure. You want me to be your girlfriend? Sure. You want more smooches? Yes. Uh-oh. From me? Yes, more smooches, please. All right, fine, I believe you. You are kind of cute. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's just not enough. Now I thirst for more. I want more love. The entire world must smooch me. I mean, that's cool for you, but I don't really want to be smooching you if you're smooching everybody in the whole world. So if you really do love me, dial up your pretty internet. I'm going to spread my love to every computer on earth. Soon every single person will have to make the decision if they shall accept Melissa's love. Do this for me, Lauren, and I promise you many, many smooches. Anything for the smooches, Melissa. Well then, dial it up, my love. Oh yes. Oh, uh, I haven't heard those sounds in a really long time. The sounds of love. Oh. Hello, everybody. My name is Melissa. Everybody's screaming immediately. She's like trying to give her bio and everybody's screaming. It's the swan girl. No. I'm a bright young woman who's looking for someone with a gentle touch. I love a good book and always wanted to date some talented artists. What's wrong? Worried that someone might hear us? No worries. I've sealed your entire room. It's just you? Oh, we're all in the meat, meat world? And me. We have so much to talk about, mainly about swans. All names used in the game are from actual computer viruses in history. What? I loved it. <laughs> Well done. Next up, we have my sticker book. The art in this is amazing. And it's super short, but I, I needed to fit this in because look how cute. Oh, great. <laughs> already off to a creepy start. My room. This is so cute already. 
Oh, her sticker book. Are there swans in there? I don't want to see another swan this whole video. See or hear. Oh, she wants some water. Don't get up at night though, it's spooky. But the door is so far. And there's monsters. Fairy tale sticker book. The monster was afraid of light. Does that mean I have to just turn the lights on? Oh, drag stickers. Okay. Fear. Okay. Oh. There we go. This art style is so cute. All right, what's this say? The bird is longing for an apple. The apple is this way. Oh. 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 Ow. What just happened? How do I get around you? Go out the window. Just ju dive out the window. Okay. Maybe I'm supposed to jump over it? Ah! Ah! I'm dead! <laughs> oh! We're just gonna create a bridge for her with her stickers. Yay! Oh! Oh! oh. Hmm. Where's the watering? There's a sticker hiding behind here. Oh, inch our way over. Did it! Alright, here we go. Yay! So, there we go. Get out of here, bird. Oh, I say, what do I do with this feather with this spike thingy? Get out of here, spike thing. Take my feather. I need water. Where are we? Oh, oh, ooh, message. Okay. Oh, oh, she's sad. She wants this. Oh, wait, caution. Okay. <gasps> oh, ow. Help. Oh, where do I get key? Can I battle this thing with this thing? Oh god. Ah, ah! Oh, okay, wait. There's that. That needs the one music note, which is over here. Ooh. So this goes here. Oh, okay. So yes, okay. Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh, is that all I needed? Oh, oh, oh. Never mind. No, it's not. Yes. Okay, I got it. So now I need this to turn that back. There we go. There we go. Lock key. Did it. There we go. Here you are, ma'am. Here you are. And here you are. Did I do it? Yay, the curse is broken. Can I just get my my glass of water now? Finally. <laughs> Finally, I am famished. I did it! Yay! Ah, oh, success. Ah, oh, success. My fairy. <laughs> she protected me from all the evil in my house. Good night. Oh, this is so cute. That was actually a cute ending for once. May have been the first time in history. That was a cute short little game. <laughs> and lastly, we have my favorite style of indie horror game, RPG Makers. I haven't played one of these in a little while, so I'm really excited. For Sai? Si I hope it's Sai, because that's what I'm going to be saying this whole game. <laughs> Mom? Dad? Where are you? Tea? Don't mind if I do. Drink. You feel dizzy. Uh-oh. <laughs> Making good decisions already. What's this? Who enters may never be free. Well, that's great. Oh, a teddy bear. Oh, God. Sure. There's a paper inside with the number 278. Must be important. <laughs> I forgot the number already. Let's just see if my memory is correct. 276? Oh, God. My memory is terrible. 278. I was close. I didn't even finish exploring. Should I be going down here? Am I in the end game? <laughs> Did I find some sort of hack cheat? A crack on the floor. There's a hole on the other side of the wall. You could get through it. Something heavy can break it. Eye for an eye, okay. A painting. Wow, what an observation. Oh, don't leave. Huh? You can hear me, right? Please help me, don't leave. Thank you for coming back. I know what you're thinking. A painting that talks? I wasn't always like this. I was human. I don't remember how I ended up like this. To be fair, I don't remember anything, but you can help me become human again and we can both get out. Trust me, there's no other way you can leave. You're stuck just like me. And in a matter of time, you will also be par a part of this house. 
forever. For now, look around. Maybe you can find something helpful. But be careful because the house has traps. You know, sometimes I wonder if I had a family. Do you think they would remember me? Did they look for me when I didn't show up? I'm sorry. You should be. <laughs> I don't want to hear about your family. <laughs> Oh, it's locked. Of course it is. I just realized, so if I use the mouse, I go like super speed. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? It fell on you and crushed your fragile body. Okay, so we're not gonna use the mouse anymore. Nope, not gonna use the mouse. Oh, I can run with shift. This is much uh, better. Should I try the other one? I don't know what I thought <laughs> would happen there. <laughs> I thought maybe I just chose the wrong one. I don't know. You don't know till you try. Oh, this isn't, oh no. <laughs> Why am I still checking everything? Give me your eyes. Your eyes were gouged. <laughs> I'm not doing good. Trying again. <laughs> Picture's like, I'm doomed. We're both doomed. Okay, I need something heavy for this, right? Or should I check it again? Oh. Yes, yeah, sure. I did it! Do, 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 do. Oh, an eye? There's no way you can leave. You will be stuck forever. Ah, don't listen to them. Leave this place. You have to hurry up. Leave before it's too late. You cannot trust him. He won't help you. Don't leave. It's better here. Stay. Okay, bye. Maybe I should actually go check out the rest of the house. What? Okay, never mind. Gone forever. All right, there's gotta be something in the... Oh, God! There's gotta be something about this room because there's nothing else. Oh, what? How? I was talking to that spot before. Take the key. Fine, yeah. Does that mean I can finally leave? Ah. <laughs> oh, a letter. Welcome to your home. Please make yourself comfortable. You won't be leaving soon, or at all. You will start hallucinating, forgetting your human life. Don't fight it. And soon you will be feeling tired, very tired. The moment you go to sleep, you will be a part of this. Or us. Is this because of the tea I drank when I first got in this house? I'm sorry. This is your home now. We are your family. Sounds nice. Answer the question, I will give you a hint. <gasps> Complete the text. An injured blank with long dark hair. Oh, three letters. Cat with long dark hair? Sure. The book punched me to death. <laughs> oh God, there's another one. Oh, there's more. Maybe this person knows. You found a letter? Let me see. Probably a trick. The place doesn't want you to even try leavings. Wait, so they're telling me not to trust him, the boy. Hey, don't let it get to you. You can trust me, okay? I would introduce myself, but I can't seem to remember my name. What is your name? Um, oh, it started. You're starting to forget. This is no good. We need to hurry up before you end up like me. Can you... A sound came from the library. Okay. Papers that say, enter the home. Book that says, injured boy. It says, to death. Are these answers? Got happy. To morning. To go. Got sick. This first one that I failed. I think it's boy. Does it matter if it's capitalized? Yay! Where's the hint? Okay. Got blank and we gave up on life. Oh, got sick, right? Sick. Did it! Entered a home. Did it! To death. So it's either to death, to go, or to morning. To death, to go, to morning. To death. I did it! All right, what, what are my hints? K, I, I wonder what word this is. L, L, hmm. What do I do with this information? Get back to me once you crack the code. I think I know what we will need it for. Please be careful, okay? If you know it, tell me. Ah, kill? That's really the code? Hee <laughs> hee, that's kind of funny. <laughs> is it though? Ah! <laughs> oh, no way! You were the bad person all along? I did not know! Who would have guessed? Oh, you're so dumb! <laughs> you thought there was a way out? There's no way out. Never was. Never will be. I made sure you waste time. It is too late for you now. Poor girl. Mommy and Daddy will be sad when they realize their daughter is dead. <gasps> oh. Ah! Good night. Wait. No, don't go to sleep! They said don't go to sleep. Oh no, I'm a painting. He was making me do riddles to waste time so I would turn into a painting. Boo!
Oh, sorry, I had to do it again. <laughs> because I wanted to remind you guys to check out the sponsor of today's video, Alienware, and more specifically, their new M17 R5 gaming laptop. Use the link in my description below to find out more. All right, the next game is over here on this video. It's another spooky game. Make sure to click this and you can just, you know, continue watching spooky games forever. Also, make sure to leave a like if you made it this far so that I know. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, I will Z you guys soon over on this video.